Today is a typical day on Montpelier Farm. The sound of the tractor is not unusual to this quiet, peaceful place. In the distance, the voices of workers can be heard as harvesting begins. As the sun penetrates the soil, the cool breeze acts as a giant fan, keeping the crops cool. Stretching out over 170 acres of land at Bethesda and a packing house at Sanderson is the Montpelier Farm, the largest farm in Antigua. Started by Micha Perez and Carl Gardner in 2000, the farm presently employs 45 employees and this number increases to over 60 during peak season. As a major provider of melons like galea, cantaloupe, honeydew and watermelon, which are said to be among the finest in the world, Montpelier Farm also produces a number of vegetables like zucchini, yellow squash, table squash, butternut, regular tomatoes, cherry and plum tomatoes as well as green, red and yellow peppers. And for the flower lovers, the Montpelier Farm supplies sunflowers as well. I came to Antigua in '85 to set a product, agricultural product for uh, other people. And I ran this product for uh, two years. Then I left back and then I came to run the same product until '91 when it was really dry weather in the island and uh, there was nothing to do. Then I came to visit a friend in 1999 and uh, my friend Mr. Carl Gardner was telling me that no agriculture product exists in the island and we decided to start that farm which is in dif a different uh, place, it is in the Willowy Bay area, uh, to grow vegetable, to be alternative for uh, importation and also to uh, and the main purpose for uh, export uh, uh, melon, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes and some other uh, stuff to the European market. Actually in the last two years we have uh, expanded our uh, crops and our uh, market in, uh, in England in mainly. We are growing at the farm uh, melons, watermelons, uh, peppers, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, uh, zucchinis, uh, yellow squash, butternut squash and some other stuff. And we had a trial, a commercial trial of papaya which went uh, good and um, there is a lot of market for it and now we are in a process to go over to a full uh, all year round uh, supply papayas and uh, maybe some other, uh, some other stuff. With care and precision, the crops are harvested and packaged right at the Montpelier Farm packing house. Basically what happens here, after the produce has been harvested from the field, has been transported to this facility. Here we basically scale the produce first to keep a record of production from each field. After that the produce will then be washed to get rid of all dirt and any other fungus. We not only produce melons and tomatoes, but we have a wide range of butternuts, sweet pepper, zucchini, yellow squash. We also have papayas, a wide range of herbs. We also have some beautiful sunflowers which can be used as decorations in the businesses or homes or even as a bouquet. During the dry season, or when the government's water supply is not available, Montpelier Farm has its own desalination plant. Early on, Montpelier saw the need to move away from the inefficient overhead irrigation system and turn to drip irrigation, a more efficient and cost-effective way to irrigate and fertilize the crops simultaneously. This enables the crops to be in good condition for local consumption as well as for exporting.
Montpelier Farm has come a long way, providing foods locally and attaining Eurogap certification to export internationally twice per week to Europe, the United Kingdom and the USA. At home, Montpelier's produce can be seen at almost all major supermarkets and sold to hotels, namely Jolly Beach, St. James's. But this is not all for Montpelier Farm. Montpelier Produce is one of the largest, if not the largest, farm on the island. It, for the few people who've known about us, who've ever heard of Montpelier, they would know us as the melon farm because we grow primarily melons. And not just watermelon and cantaloupe, we also grow gallia and honeydew. What I have noticed is that when, I, when most people ask me where I work and I tell them Montpelier Produce, nobody's ever heard of it which is one of the reasons why we're doing this. We hope that after this, the whole island will know that Antigua grows large-scale produce, and we also export. Yes, Antigua exports. We export melons to the United States and to the UK. On, uh, well, our United States market has not started for this season yet, but for the UK, we export twice a week, and, well, that's presently how we get our flights. If we get more, we could, we could export at least four times a week. So we export. So there are our Antiguan grown melons being sold in the European and the US market. We also sell to most of the major supermarkets on the island. So Antigua is producing large scale produce for exporting since we want to not, not only make our main industry tourism, but we're looking at working on agriculture as well. It has started. So we'd hope that you would come by, not, you know, give us a call and come by and check out the area, check out what we grow, maybe ask for a tour of the farm. And when you go into the supermarket, you go into Epicurean, ask for Antiguan grown melons and they'll give them to you because they do have them. You can even go into the UK and when you go to Europe or you go to the US, you can also ask for Antiguan grown melons. Manpele Produce is doing its part to put Antigua further on the map where agriculture is concerned and export as well. So for those of you who think Antigua only imports, we also export. So I hope now that you know about Montpellier produce and the locally grown large scale melons and vegetables that we grow, when you go to your local supermarket or you visit a hotel, you will ask specifically for Antiguan grown produce. People come from all over the globe to Jolly Beach Hotel. So as an executive chef, I have to insist they get the best quality of fruits and veg. So that's why I insist my purchaser to purchase from Mount Pella Farm because they have the best quality of fruits and vegetables. In today's world, eating healthy and knowing where our food comes from is of vital importance. And that is why Mount Pella Farm donates to the Halberton Hospital, the mental home, the boys' training school and the school meals program, which was recently introduced as a pilot project in a number of primary schools across the island. Whether at your local supermarket or the fruit and vegetable market, you are supporting your community when you buy local. So for fresh, nutritious and delicious foods, look for the Montpellier produce.